welcome back to Scott's Car Stuff. Uh, little job today, or, uh, maybe two, but uh, a little job. What you might notice is that the, the handle for unlatching the tailgate doesn't work. So, the two cover plates on here have been opened up so that uh, someone can reach in pull on the wires that pull the latches here. Both the latches appear to work, uh, but this mechanism in here. So today's plan, open this up, find out what's not right. You will note that I've lost one of these. Oh, so I'll have to track something down. I might make a uh, checker plate cover to go in there, a little bit of aluminium checker plate to cover that in the meantime. Uh, but. I'll pull it open and we'll get going. So, looks a bit skanky in there. Not initially clear, maybe something's bent in the handle part, but I see that there's a couple of bolts there holding that cover piece on. Some bolts here holding this. That one's got a bit of foam over it to stop it. What I'm seeing is, is that these are activated by, by rotational mov movement. The handle goes up and down, so something converting that linear movement into rotation is where the problem is. So I'll pull this apart, give it a clean, and see what I can find. So I've got, uh, I've got the little bolts holding the back of it on. The nuts out here looks like uh, uh, these holding this, the whole front assembly on. There's a little stud in the back of it. One nut came off and one nut came as a stud. Uh, so one came, the stud unscrewed it, didn't break off, didn't break off. Uh, I'm going to see if I can pull the, I can't, uh, probably this screw here holding the wire uh, and providing adjustment, I can't undo those. I've got them soaking a little bit with the WD, not, not a great penetrant uh, and a bit of degreaser. But it appears that it's full of leaves, dry leaves, uh, which I'm going to reach in there and get out then once I get this part uh, and uh, clean everything up, straighten the bits. Of, uh, I've got a feeling something's either terribly bound up in there or bent, which is why it doesn't work. special pair of pliers that I can use to grab hold of the head of the screw. Uh, not here, at work in my other toolbox. So I might have to go and get those, make up the cover plate at the same time. We'll see. And I haven't lost, lost the 10 mil socket yet, but it's only a matter of time. like there is a way that I can unhook this piece of wire and pull this out. Here we go. There, so I should be able to looks like it's in pretty good nick. I'll give that a clean up. Bit of degrees, I'll lube it up with a bit of that uh, white Silicon uh, white uh, lithium grease that I like, and uh, and that can probably go back in there and do its job. But it, that will help me that I can unhook at those. I'll be able to pull the whole thing out. I feel you can see in here. There's a piece of wire it's retained by these two lugs, uh, and and what appears to be the screw, which just 
spins I take it back I don't think that's related and that leaf looks like that might be the part that transfers the uh, straight motion into the twisting motion for these. These things here move pretty well. Uh, it might be these do feel stiff and uh, slow. The springs are both intact but uh, it might just be those cleaning up but I want to get this out and I'm thinking that, oh, that's They this end of it's definitely attached to the, the piece down there, and this piece is definitely attached to the bit that goes around like that. It's attached to both of these. It would be good to get that, those screws undone. As far as I can tell, this, this end of the little piece of uh, bent wire is uh, peened over, squashed over on this end, so it will not come out up that way. I do, it does feel like this end should be free to come out. I'll grab some needle nose uh, pliers and uh, something pointy with which to lever and see if I can pull it out. I'll take it back. I'm now convinced that both ends of this uh, connecting swivel link uh, are swaged. This end feels like it's been uh, punched in that end. So that won't come out of there. Uh, feels like that one is swaged over as well. Definitely. So to separate this swiveling part, which is attached to the plate fixed here, from the handle part, which is attached to these bolts here, so that I can get those two parts out separately, I'm going to have to cut that and make a new one out of a piece of wire. Or I'll clean the whole thing up in here, put some gloves on and pull out all these leaves, clean the inside of that as best I can. And uh, put it together like that, leave it assembled. So the handle does it to the move all right. I'll start cleaning this up and I'll make a decision about whether I have to cut that link to get it all apart and pull it out. I really would like to take it out, but my experience has been is that I can make another one of these. I can't swage both ends of it. That's what these little plastic things are for. They're to, they're, they're to hold it into those spots so that it doesn't come out. So if I cut it and I make another one out of a similar gauge piece of wire, it should be okay. Easy. So my hands are too big to fit in there. So my able assistant uh, no. is uh, reaching in there. So here's a piece of advice. Don't leave those covers on the back of your tailgate open 
because mysteriously it fills up with leaves and rubbish which makes me suspicious as to how it all got in there. Uh, you can use your imagination on how you think it got in there. In a big thick wad at the bottom of the tailgate. Yuck. So the tiny hands of my assistant have removed three quarters of a bucket of uh, compost is what it could be best described as. Uh, we didn't, we, uh, we decided to remove the tailgate so that we could tip it upside down and get all of the schmutz from the bottom to an accessible area. And I use that term loosely because it's not that accessible. Um, you know, vacuum out the rest. We're gonna clean it with soapy water, drain it properly, and then spray something like uh, fish oil or something in there so that it doesn't rust. So it's very fortunate given the amount of uh, debris in there that it hasn't rusted out the bottom. I guess that's uh, proof that that it did live out its life out west where it was nice and dry. Uh, the, it turns out there are three bolts holding that uh, cover plate on the front. That seems to move pretty freely. I'll give that another clean up once we've done this uh, exercise with uh, getting the stuff out and cleaning it and we'll uh, get it back on, convert some of this rust on the back of the, put some rust converter on there. I think I'll go with like a rhino lining or something like that in the back of the ute once I've done the rust repairs at the rear of the cab. Moving along nicely. I'm gonna vacuum the rest of this debris out of here. And as I said, give it a bit of, a, give the whole tailgate a bit of wash up. I might see if I can get that broken bolt out as well. I broke one of the bolts uh, holding the hinges on. Uh, I'll see if I can get that out and uh, tidy it up. I'll make that little plate as well while I'm here. So my plan is, I'll, this bolt that I have uh, snapped off, is I will drill into it and use a, a bolt remover, uh, an easy out. Uh, I don't, it doesn't look like I've got the right one at this point, but I'll do this part of the job and then I'll cross that bridge. I've drilled the bolt out to 17 sixty-fourths. Now I'm running the uh, M8 tap through it uh, in order to get back to having an 8mm thread there. Just using the Banner for a bit of extra leverage. Using some cutting fluid in there as well. It's a bit difficult as that captive nut is just in a slot while it appeared to be rusted in position before with me spraying penetrant all over it. it uh, has loosened everything up. Just got to uh, uh, relieve the chips as you cut the thread. And I think I'm pretty much all the way through there. I 
I ran the tap through one of the other nuts to make sure that it was definitely the right size. Uh, drilled out this one. Happy accident that 17 64ths is about 6.7 millimeters and the M8 thread is 8 by 1.25 so that gives me uh, a tiny bit of leeway but I didn't damage too much of the threads in the hole uh, so we'll work under the assumption that uh, I'm doing all of this with uh, supreme accuracy and uh, we'll uh, We'll call it good anyway. So the M8 tap goes in all the way through. That's a success. So I've got that bolt out. I sprayed some of the magic uh, rust off on those screws in there. And I'm gonna hit them with the special pliers that I've got now. Before I reassemble these, I'm gonna clean them down with some bit of degreaser and my toothbrush. It's okay, I've already cleaned my teeth. So the, the latch works with the spring going over centre like that. That's the part that the piece of wire goes through, hooks on and when you pull on the handle, pulls on the wire, open it comes. Really good. The zinc plating is in excellent condition. It's a dry climate car. Hmm. Looks good. On to the other one. You'll recall that one of the the uh, covers on the inside of the tailgate was uh, missing. So I'm just going to cut one up out of this uh, offcut of aluminium checker plate, uh, tread plate. Uh, I'm just gonna trace around it and uh, cut it out and drill the holes, and then use it from there. Uh, cool, yeah. There we are. I just uh, cut it out with the guillotine. I'm just gonna fix up those edges on the disc sander. My plan here is to Center punch these holes using a claw hammer and a center punch, a pilot hole, and then drill a six millimeter hole. It's a bit big for six, but uh, I don't think it's eight, so we'll go from there. Here we go. The hole's more like seven. I used the uh, step drill, so I went to eight, so that I didn't have any trouble with the holes matching up. When I went to put the, uh... there we go.
to replace the broken bolt, I've got a fresh bolt and a washer, which I just left off, which is why I had to take it out once I had it in. That one's cross -fed. Thankfully on this occasion, I didn't leave it so long that I forgot to have it back together. But I did put those triangular brackets on the wrong way around. Same bracket. Make sure it goes underneath. One. Now for the internal.
still leaves him. Now I'm fairly sure I didn't mix these up. They are handed, of course. I'll get the white grease. I'll give them a bit of a lube up. As I said in the, the video where I did the window winder in the Kingswood, I like the lithium grease because it tends to stick there. Yes. Dirt tends to stick to it also. Now for the covers back on. Line up. and it 
should stop the leaves from getting in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now I'll have to take all of these off and clean it out. See you next time.